Some Lee County parents continue calling for change to their kids' school bus stops in the interest of safety. Just last week, a student was critically injured while waiting for her bus. But tonight, for your corners, Liza Fernandez joins us live to show us how the district is now taking action for this. Liza? Emily, I've learned school board member Don Armstrong has asked the superintendent to start a transportation safety audit. But one parent just hopes nothing happens to her kids in the meantime. We do not have sidewalks, and we have a lot of construction going on, and the landscaping crew is always on the side of the road early in the morning. And that's inside the Royal T private community in Cape Coral. Mother of three, Allison Brown, is upset. The Lee County School District moved her kids' bus stop from inside the community two and a half miles away and onto busy Pine Island Road. It's just totally unsafe and uncalled for. Allison is fuming over this letter sent out to all parents stating students who live in gated communities or on private roads will have to use a bus stop on a public road. The letter goes on to say students could have to walk up to a mile and a half to get to those designated stops. For Allison's kids, that amounts to five miles round trip. We should not be penalized for living in a private community. That is just utterly ridiculous. And once her kids get to Pine Island Road? Very unsafe. And I could, I could see a child getting hurt the way that it's already happened once a school year. So I started making calls. Can I speak with Superintendent Berg? School board member Don Armstrong, who walked that very route in the royalty community last year, agreed to interview with me. We do have to continue to look at the safety, and I've asked the superintendent to start looking at some of these stops and do a safety audit. So you've asked the superintendent to look into the safety of some bus stops. Which ones? Uh, these gated communities, any of them, you know, even um, bus stops that we've had established for years and years now. Um, just because 10 years ago that stop was safe, but the times have changed. No word on when this transportation safety audit will happen, but the fight over bus stops could soon be headed for the Florida House of Representatives. Coming up tonight at 10, what one state lawmaker is pledging to do about these safety concerns. Live in the studio, Liza Fernandez, Fox 4, in your corner.